Um, sometimes discovery doesn't happen because you look harder, but because someone else looks from a different place. When I first saw the headlines from China's National Space Administration, Tianwen, one captures images of 3i, Atlas from Mars orbit I, paused. It wasn't because of competition. It was because uh, uh, for the first time, a non-Western spacecraft had directly uh, photographed an interstellar object from deep space, while NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter waited for bureaucrats to unlock its data, China moved fast. Its orbiter, originally built to explore the Martian surface, turned its high-resolution camera outward across the void and caught 3i Atlas at a distance of about 30 million kilometers. And uh, what it saw left scientists, including me, astonished. No classical tale, a shimmering blue-green nucleus bright as a living thing, twisting slightly as sunlight kissed its surface. This isn't just another photograph. This is context, um, a, a second opinion from another civilization's vantage point. It's like the universe handed us a mirror and said, you can't understand me from one side alone. The Tianwen-1 orbiter wasn't designed for this. Its cameras were meant to study the Martian terrain, dust storms, and the thin atmosphere, not distant cosmic travelers. Yet, engineers in Beijing reprogrammed its instruments, realigned its orientation, and on the 3rd of October 2025, aimed its sensors into the black. The result, uh, the closest visual data set of 3i, ATLS yet released to the public. Each frame shows an object glowing softly against the backdrop of stars, no extended coma, no visible jets. And yet the light curves fluctuate as if the object pulses. Here's what makes this remarkable. At that same moment, the object was roughly 0.2 AU from Mars, bathing in 770 watts of solar radiation per square meter. By any model, its volatile ices should have begun to evaporate violently, but instead of a chaotic cloud, the orbiter recorded a calm, cohesive glow. Spectral analysis from the Chinese release hints at dominant blue wavelengths, suggesting either ionized carbon or an energy process that's not entirely thermal. And, uh, uh, and that matters because comets by nature redden with dust. A blue shift means scattering by smaller particles or plasma or less likely but not impossible artificial reflectivity. To put it simply, the Chinese data confirms the strangeness, not dismisses it. It tells us the object didn't behave as a standard comet should. And that makes the scientific puzzle global. Science thrives on replication. If two independent systems record the same anomaly, you are no longer looking at an error, you are looking at truth. NASA's high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter also captured the imagery around the same period, but those frames remain locked behind administrative walls. China, however, published theirs within days. That's more than transparency, that's confidence. Comparing Tianwen once data to the European Space Agency's solar orbiter readings reveals something subtle but important. The same directionality of light both indicate an illumination pattern inconsistent with a spherical dust coma. Uh, it's asymmetric, like a, a, a flat or elongated surface reflecting sunlight at specific angles. And uh, that ties into what my team at the Galileo project has been discussing for weeks. What if 3i Atlas isn't a solid rock or an ice ball, but a fractured plate-like object tumbling slowly, occasionally flaring as it exposes a reflective side to the sun? If so, uh, the blue U could arise from ionized gases interacting with that surface, an effect similar to a plasma sheath around re-entry vehicles. 
No alien engines uh, required just physics pushed into unfamiliar territory. Still, even if purely natural, the Tianwen one data forces us to rethink comet models. Its smooth light curve, minimal outgassing, and steady rotation hint at an object far denser and more coherent than expected. And uh, when nature behaves coherently, we take notes. While American bureaucracies stalled, China's mission engineers built a bridge. They shared raw observation metadata through the Asian Planetary Science Network, allowing cross-calibration with European telescopes. That's not just cooperation, it's evolution. In a single week, 3i Atlas transformed from a Western-centric mystery into a planetary science project. Data now flows between uh, Tianwen-1, uh, ESA's Solar Orbiter, JAXA's BepiColombo, and ground-based arrays in Chile and Spain. Each piece adds parallax depth perception to a story we've only been seeing flat until now. Imagine uh, Earth as one eye and Mars as the other. When both look at the same object from different positions, they create stereo vision, the only way to measure shape and motion precisely. That's what this is, the first interplanetary 3D dataset of an interstellar visitor. It's as if the cosmos is teaching us how to use both eyes. When Tianwen 1's data reached the public, three anomalies stood out, all aligning with what Western telescopes had already hinted at. Uh, number one, color inversion. Three, I, um, Atlas is bluer than the sun itself, physically counterintuitive, since cooler bodies should appear redder. Um, number two, uh, trajectory deviation. Um, slight but measurable. Gravitational models alone can't reproduce the curve. Uh, number three, tail inversion. Faint emission pointing toward the sun, not away. Uh, each of these was controversial on its own. Together, they form a profile unlike any natural comet in catalogs. Some argued this could be due to solar wind magnetic reconnection invisible forces shaping plasma around the object. Others proposed rotational jets, vents opening periodically, but Tianwen, one's steady brightness, undermines both explanations. Uh, if there were venting, brightness should flicker. If plasma color should fluctuate. Instead, the orbiter's photometric timeline shows stability with uh, slow periodic shifts like breathing. When I look at that data, I'm reminded of something I said years ago about Oumuamua. The simplest explanation is not always the right one, especially when simplicity becomes an excuse for avoidance. Whether it's exotic eyes or engineered, the uh, uh, alloy, 3i, atlas, doesn't care what we call it. Um, it just behaves according to its own physics. The 19th of December 2025, that's our next checkpoint. By then, uh, Earth and Mars will align just enough to triangulate its position with unprecedented accuracy. China's orbiter, still circling the red planet, will have a front row seat. NASA's solar probes will catch the backscattered light. And uh, for the first time, humanity will observe an interstellar object in true multi-platform collaboration. I think that's beautiful. Not because of politics, but because of perspective. When the Banfield host asked me about national competition, I said, the sky belongs to everyone. Science doesn't have a flag. The Tianwen-1 mission proved that statement. While one nation hesitated, another acted not to claim ownership, but to contribute data. And now that data helps all of us understand a little more. It doesn't matter which country presses the shutter. What matters is that we keep our eyes open. A signal from beyond the sun photographed from another world.
that's what Tianwen One gave us, the first true Martian perspective of something that doesn't belong to this solar system. That alone is historic. Um, when I show my students the process frames that the uh, shimmering green speck over Mars's horizon, I remind them this isn't computer generated. It's real, captured by an instrument built by human hands orbiting another planet, watching a messenger from the stars pass by. Whether 3i Atlas is a natural fragment or a relic of technology doesn't change the wonder of that fact. Because wonder itself is the beginning of understanding. Uh, as scientists, we must resist cynicism. We must not let politics or pride dull our curiosity. And that's the quiet message embedded in every Tianwen one pixel. The cosmos rewards whoever looks. From Cambridge to Beijing, from NASA's silent archives to China's open data release, from Mars's orbit to Earth's living rooms, humanity is learning to watch together. And perhaps when 3i Atlas finally fades into the dark beyond Jupiter, that will be its legacy. Not proof of aliens, not another comet, but a lesson in cooperation. Because the universe doesn't care about our borders. It only cares that we notice. So here we are noticing, listening, waiting for the next whisper from the stars.